Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is in Tana. Can one listen to music during the days of the Omer, especially during Corona time? So let's take a, look. Oh, a quick look at the sugya. The Torah does not talk about the prohibitions of uh, what one or cannot do during the Omer. It's the Torah introduced it 700 years ago. The Shulchan Aruch writes it. And then against Yisrael, certainly have restrictions during the time of the Omer to commemorate the deaths of Rabbi Kiva. The students, that's the simple meaning of the Shulchan Aruch. Others want to say it's about the Crusades. That's an interesting question regarding the history and the reason behind it. Halachically, we have a minhag here. So, what is the minhag? Shulchan Aruch just mentioned two things. You don't have weddings, and you don't get haircuts. That's it. Magad Avim adds on that you don't have rikudim v'cholot, dancing. Okay, so the only thing that should be asked here is dancing. We need to have live music and dancing. That's the problem. That maybe that would be the problem. But do we go further than that? And the answer seems to be yes, we've gone further. That Rikudim Machlo dancing and live music, somehow it's moved to a lot of other uh, activities as well. Let's see who holds what. So according to Rav Shlomo Zaman Orbach and Eich Shlomo, it's only music that's a pounding kind of music, certain kind of music that's going to lead to the dancing. That's what's us. Awesome. Relaxing kind of music on the, on the radio, on the computer, Rav Shlomo says that's not a problem. Then you have others more machmir and say, no, to hear music from an uh, orchestra, a band, and singing that's recorded, so that's become an expression of music today, and that's like listening to the band, and you cannot listen to that kind of music. But you could listen to a cappella because that's just the person singing. So if he was singing live, it's fine. Certainly if he's singing recorded, it's fine. Then you have Shevet Alevi and others that say, and Sitz Eliezer, that once a voice is recorded, that turns into clay sheer. That becomes a musical instrument, so the tape, the machshev, uh, the computer, that's now klesheer. So you have a range here regarding the movement for, away from live music when we became more stringent. So Rosh Hashanah says it's only a certain kind of a music that could lead to the dancing, because the dancing with the live music, that was the prohibition to begin with. So only kind of music that could lead to that. Others say no. Any kind of music is a problem if it's music with the clay shear, recording music with the instruments. And then others say, no, any recorded music now is a problem. Okay, so you have a range of opinions, and each person all year should go with his or her post like what to do. And the question is, what do we do this year? So post convention of Asha Weiss, of Asha Shechter, of Yitzhak Yosef, said there is room to be lenient. And the leniency could go in, in, in gradations. Okay, and Rav Yitzhak Yosef says this. His spokesman spoke on his behalf and says that you can have different levels. A person goes, go ahead, and he's fine. Okay, he's fine. He's adjusting fine. Rav Hashem, we talked with many, many people over the last month or so. And go, oh, Hashem, people are doing all right. So a person says, no, I'm great. I'm enjoying the family. I couldn't be happier. So great. Keep your minute that you've done all the years. I'm a little bit tense. It's hard in the house. The kids, I have eight kids. Oldest one is seven. Okay, okay. So everyone has to know where they're at, and you can have gradations over here. So let's say you need to have something in the house. So you go, normally you don't listen to anything. You're machmir, like the Shevet Levi. That's how your Rob tells you all year, or, or, or every year, nothing. Okay, so you go down one level. Of course, everyone has talked to the post saying about it, but this is what some of the posts are saying to do today, and this is what I'm following as well. You go down a level. So normally, you don't say anything, so now it's a cappella. That helps ease things. Okay. that That's not helping. You need more than that. So then have music with instruments, but more of a calm kind of music. So then, Rav Shalom is still fine with that. That's still not helping, so then you can go to the next level that even other kinds of music where Shalom Zalman would ask that the, you know, the, the, the music which is more the type that could lead to dancing. And 
Yehavadad is going to answer it because that has instruments. And for sure, Sheva Levin answer it. And we say that's that's against the Menach. But this year, you're, you're being makele, you're being lenient. It's, you're not giving up the Menach for always just this year because it's a Shas of Chak depressing situation. And therefore, there's different levels of how each family should be in this year. Okay, the person has to know themselves, and the person don't be should not be overly stringent. Has to know, the person totally cool and chill, relaxed. So fine, keep your regular men high. You're feeling tense. That is not healthy, not for you or the family, whoever is around. And you should be quote lenient regarding the old mayor if you're not feeling hundred percent. You're feeling tense and stringent regarding ushmatem and nashastech and protecting yourself, your physical and your mental well-being and your family's well-being as well. And each person might be best to either take what I said and talk it over the post sake, or if one goes what I'm saying, just take this information and work it through. And we should have a good healthy balance between remembering the uh, the deaths of Rebekah's students, keeping the Minhagim of Klai Yisrael, but at the same time, and we keep the Minhagim of Klai Yisrael, we also keep our sanity. Shalom.